You know what? No. I'm not even going to play my intro for this video just because of how mad I am right now. The developers could have given the surgeon an extremely useful utility item, but instead gave them the worst item in the entire game. I'm talking worse than the lands kind of bad here, and that's saying a lot. Now, if you saw the title of this video, you already know what I'm about to talk about. The extended medical kit. I recently did a poll on my community page about whether or not people think the extended medical kit is good or not, and the overwhelming response was either it's good or I don't know, I haven't used it. Meaning that a lot of people are in the dark about why this item is bad. I would like to say that it is very possible this video will become outdated. The game's version is currently in version 0.12.10 as of making this video. But before I start, I would like to say that you should go check out my surgeon guide, which will be linked in the description of this video. I go over exactly how the healing animation works, because it's surprisingly more complicated than most people may think. So first off, what does the extended medical kit do? For those that have never used this item before, the extended medical kit gets rid of your utility item, your box of bandages, and it takes about 3 full seconds before the actual healing animation starts. But, it applies the healing 50% faster than normal. Just from hearing that, you can probably already tell that this item is very, very bad. But first, I'm going to cover some myths that the people in the community have made up. Starting with myth number one, it uses less supplies. Now I will actually give props to the people who spread this myth around, because the medical kit previously had a bug where you could give people bandages without using any supplies. This made it actually extremely broken since you can just give them a bandage and cancel the healing animation over and over again until they're full HP. But as of this recent update, this is no longer the case. They patched this and now it uses the same amount of supplies whether you use the extended medical kit or not. Myth number two, it heals more. This myth is completely false. Again, I understand where this myth came from, since the icon near your hotbar, when you hover over it, tells you that you do heal more. But if you look in these two images, both in which I stabbed the player twice, bringing them to half HP, then gave them one bandage and cancelled the healing animation. The image on the left is with the extended medical kit, and the image on the right is without it. As you can very clearly tell, the extended medical kit does not apply more healing. Now, myth number three. You pick up and also hold more supplies. Okay, this myth isn't true. Both with and without the extended medical kit, you will be able to hold six supplies at a time, and every time you pick up supplies, you get one supply back. I don't know how this myth started, but just know it's not true. This video wouldn't be very good unless I gave some advice on how to make this item better. I think the best and most obvious thing that they could do is make this a primary item over the medical supplies, and so you keep your box of bandages. Not only would you still be able to use your box of bandages to heal multiple people and yourself, but you get to keep your water bucket which is extremely valuable on hardcore mode. A different way I think this could be buffed is making it so it actually heals more HP. Let's say someone is half HP, and you give them just a bandage. That bandage would be more effective and heal them to max HP. Or, let's say someone is at 1 HP, you give them a bandage and a tourniquet in their arm. And once the healing is fully applied, they will be at max HP. This makes it so you use less supplies, and you won't ever have to give anyone stitches. One last thing I also want to say is that this item costs 1,000 francs in the shop. I'm pretty sure no other item in the entire game is more expensive than this, making it not only the most expensive item, but also the most useless item currently in the game. Before I end off this video, I want to say that I do have a Discord server. It will be linked in the description of this video and I'd really appreciate it if you join. Not only will you be able to talk to other people like me, but you will also be the first to know when my custom server opens. 
There I host old guard runs, Marston runs, and some fun custom made events I have made. That's all for this video though. I hope you learn why you shouldn't be using the extended medical kit. And have fun playing the surgeon.